Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about the 34 books that I downloaded in the month of November. <laughs> So all these books were either free on Kindle Unlimited or they were gifted to me very kindly. So I don't want this video to be super duper long. So we're just gonna get started. Let's go. <laughs> so first I downloaded Storm, a rock star romance by Carrie and Cole. You can either purchase this for $3.99 or it is available off of Kindle Unlimited. I personally downloaded this for free when it was free for a time. A series of weather and driving mishaps leaves me trapped in the woods during a blizzard with a complete stranger in the back of his pickup truck for 48 hours. A stranger with long hair, tattoos, and rippling with muscle. A stranger with an insanely sexy voice and a wicked smile that turned my insides to jelly. A stranger who held me in his arms, calmed me, and then set a fire in me I couldn't put out. A stranger I later found out is a famous rock star with a huge fan base. Storm lives up to his name, dangerously alluring, tumultuous, a beautiful, unexpected clash of hot and cold. He's used to getting everything he wants, and now he's decided he wants me. Me? A quirky girl next door type who has no business dating a sexy rock star. Some people chase storms for the thrill. What happens when the storm chases you? Next, I downloaded Neighbors Like That, a romantic comedy by Karina Taylor. You could purchase this for $3.99. I personally downloaded this for free when it was free. He started our war. I intend to finish it. Buying a house in the suburbs was supposed to be low stress, my own little haven to decorate and landscape exactly how I want. Instead, I find myself locking my garbage can to keep out pests, pests that are six foot one, green eyed and far too good looking. My trespassing neighbor is rude and entitled. It isn't long before war is declared and I find myself stooping to immature pranks. When trouble lands at my door, my unlikely neighbor starts knocking on my heart. Was I ready to answer? Hagen, I will win no matter what it takes. I moved to this neighborhood for a fresh start. The one thing I'm not looking for is a relationship. So when I mistakenly assume my neighbor is hitting on me, I lash out at her. I didn't mean to start a war, but now she taunts me from across the street. Our harmless pranks have become the highlight of my day. I should stay away, but I can't. I want to spend more time with her. When a stalker begins sending Kylie a series of notes, I'm only too willing to help protect her. Maybe I'm looking for a relationship after all. Then I downloaded King of Libertines, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Pam Godwin. This is still currently free to download, I'm pretty sure. So this book is only 75 pages and it doesn't really give a summary. All it says is what began as an unstoppable explosion of passion forged into something pivotal, essential, and more. I downloaded this because it's a Pam Godwin book and apparently it is a novella to Sea of Ruin, which is a um, historical romance book that I've heard a lot about on booktube. So if you love Sea of Ruin, possibly go download this because it is free right now. Then I downloaded The Devil's Kiss by Gemma James. This is still currently free to download. Broke and desperate, Kayla siphons thousands from her employer to pay for her daughter's treatment. But when CEO Gage Channing discovers her theft, she learns that her sadistic boss has no intention of turning her over to the police. Instead, he issues an ultimatum. Submit to him in the bedroom or go to jail. Backed into a corner by a man with no shame, Kayla must find the strength to travel down the path of pain and pleasure. But when her past catches up to her, prompting a free fall into forbidden territory with a man she once loved, Kayla realizes nothing is black and white when everyone around her has secrets. Then I downloaded Fearless, an MMA sports and Russian mafia romance by Amory Avant. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for 99 cents. I stormed into a Russian gym and threatened an MMA champ with sinfully dark eyes and dangerous muscles. Of course, I'd already cursed every Russian by the time I got to him. He introduced himself as Valisi Rezanov. My heart dropped into the pit of my stomach. Only idiots threaten Rezanovs and then they die which is logical. The Rezanov Bravta is the largest crime syndicate in Russia, maybe the world, but Valisi might not be as depraved as his counterparts. Once we clear the air, I find out I was at the wrong gym. He offers me the chance to continue breathing. Now I belong to him. I have more cards at my sleeve, big ones, such as my father's business card. The chief of police tag should save me, right? Then I downloaded Awakened by Moni Boyce, this is still available to download for free. Willow Stevens' dreams of stardom are eclipsed by the real nightmares of a sinister man haunting her dreams. Unbeknownst to her, Eli Walker, her hot but snobbish coworker may know the reason nightmares plague her, but their history shows he is more prone to reject her than help her. Then Willow passes out at work only to wake in Eli's apartment. There she has the chance to learn more about her heritage. 
but knowing why the vampire king stalks her doesn't make the nightmares disappear. If anything, they become more real as she now faces off against a slew of creatures she'd always believed were myth. That Eli is one of those creatures is just her luck. Secret witch guild or not, his natural ways are casting spells her heart can't escape. As a protector, his only focus should be her safety. Anything else is forbidden. He plans to stay on task, but some women break a man or tempt him to break the rules. Can Eli keep Willow alive and safe from the vampires long enough for her to grow her own powers, or will both of them cast aside rules for reckless passion that will only lead to danger? Then I downloaded To Desire a Highlander, which is book number two in a Highland Magic collection by Kerrigan Byrne. This was free at the time, but now now you can either download it off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $5.99. Catronia. Her last memory is her violent death and now she's screaming for vengeance. He's a laird with enough sins to stain her soul, but he's cursed for crimes of another. With a clan divided, an impending marriage, and whispers of dark magic threatening the highlands, a tempting banshee is the last thing he needs in his chambers. She was brutalized and burned alive, but denied her vengeance by a cruel twist of fate. He's a ruthless and brilliant druid-driven man by his quest for retribution. Two souls have lost themselves in this tormented secret of the past and can only find redemption in the dangerous desires they thought long dead. Camden. She's a banshee assassin who's not yet killed a man, and her first mark had a cardinal proposition, too seductive to resist. He's the notorious Laird of Shadows, a rogue berserker terrorizing the Highlands in search of a warrior's death. Then I downloaded 12 Days of Christmas in a Highlander's Arms, which is a collection of medieval historical romances by an anthology of authors. Amidst the wild Scottish mountains, the snow is falling deep, but 12 heartwarming stories of love await, one for each day of Christmas. Discover an embroidered partridge fueling revenge, two turtle doves stealing an ale-fated match, a feathery yuletide tale, the betrothal of a reluctant songbird, five golden rings forged in forbidden love, a pet goose who represents a second chance, a swan taking flight, a dairy maid with murder on her mind, nine ladies dancing in the moonlight, a duty-bound laird and a wayward lady, a beautiful piper, and a ghostly drummer playing matchmaker. Curl up with these passionate tales filled with intrigue, adventure, and the magic of Yuletide. Then I downloaded Mistress of the Wind. You could either get this off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99 at the time. It was free. I downloaded it for free. Bjorn needs to find a very special woman. The fate of his people and his own life depends on it. But when he does find her, she's nothing like he imagined and may just harbor more secrets than he does himself. Astrid has never taken well to commands, no matter who issues them. She clashed her whole life with her father and now her lover, the mysterious man who comes to her bedroom in darkness and disappears to guard his mountain by day as a bear, is finding it out the hard way. And when she's taken by his enemies, no one is prepared for Astrid's response. It is never wise to anger the mistress of the wind. This is a captivating and magical adult retelling of the fairy tale East of the Sun, West of the Moon. Okay, sorry if the lighting changed. It got a little dark outside, so I put on a little ring light. So, yeah. <laughs> then I downloaded Tempt Me by K.A. Tucker, or her pen name, which is Nina West. You could get this off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99 at the time I downloaded it for free. I ran away from home to escape heartbreak, only to deliver myself in the hands of a wolf. Henry Wolf, that is. Heir to a luxury hotel chain, infamous playboy, arrogant bastard, and my new boss. Why he wants me, Abby Mitchell, a girl who lacks experience in every front that would matter to him as his personal assistant, I cannot fathom. Especially when I keep screwing up in the most spectacular way. Did I already mention he's a bastard? A beautiful moody one, who's quick to demand, slow to apologize, and toying with me with every chance he gets. Testing me, messing with my head in a way that makes my body crave him. He knows it and he doesn't hide the fact that he's enjoying doing it. He says he doesn't want me for more than my mediocre computer skills and my color coding flair. He says he's not willing to risk losing his empire for a tangle in the sheets with the help. But I'm beginning to think that's a big, dirty lie. Then I downloaded Dirty Santa, which is a holiday motorcycle club romance by Daphne Loveling. You could get this off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $2.99 at the time I downloaded it for free. My next door neighbor is gruff, untamed, tattooed, and arrogant. He's also the hottest man I've ever seen. I've been stealing glimpses of him throughout my kitchen window for weeks now. He's eye candy, dirty, delicious eye candy, and nothing more. But I'm in a bind on Christmas Eve. The hot biker is the one I can turn to. I've been a nice girl my whole life, but Gage has me dreaming of being on the naughty list. This is one Christmas I'll never forget. Next, I downloaded The Zodiac Queen, season one by Gemma James. This is a bind up of the first three books, the part of The Zodiac Queen series. I've read all three of them. At the time I downloaded this for free, unfortunately it's not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $4.99. And I believe the first book in this series on itself, by itself, which is called Aries, is free, always free. 12 men, a virgin queen, one arranged marriage. 
12 men from 12 houses, and I must spend a month with each one, yielding to their desires and shedding my innocence so long as my virtue remains intact. Because the men of the Zodiac Brotherhood wants a virgin queen after the last month concludes, and my uncle plans to auction me off to the highest bidder. Out of 12 men on this island, only one has my heart, and only one can claim my hand in marriage. If only it were up to me to decide. So this book includes Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Sorry for the really sucky lighting. I feel really bad here. Let's see if I can make it better. Is that one better? Hopefully. I'm so sorry. It got really dark and I really want to finish filming this. <laughs> then I downloaded A Duke for Miss Daisy, which is a sweet Regency romance by Maggie Dalen and Catherine Ann Madison. Daisy's met the Duke of her dreams. Or is he her worst nightmare? Daisy is a wallflower, or at least she was, but this season her prospects are brighter and much to her mother's delight, she may just make a match. When the Duke she once adored from a distance arrives at the house party she's attending with her friends, she knows for certain her luck has changed until she meets him. Rude, grim, and not at all like the knight in shining armor she believed him to be as a child, the now widowed Duke of Dolan treats her boorishly bad. This isn't the love at first sight she's been dreaming of. In fact, it's a whole lot like disdain. If it were not for the way he held her in his arms, she might just be fooled into thinking he's not the man for her at all. Luckily for him, his kisses speak louder than his growls. Then I downloaded Sweetheart's Old, which is a sweet second chance wedding romance by Rachel A. Anderson. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. I downloaded it for free at the time. Single mom Melissa Lambert has never met a challenge she couldn't handle. Not raising her three siblings, not adopting a boy from foster care, not even selling the Lambert family home. Then she looks through her the family scrapbooks and realizes she lost something of herself along the way, something she isn't sure she can find again. Declan Pierce is only just starting to get his feet under him when he gets the postcard announcing his 20 year high school reunion. Pushed by his in-laws to return, Declan feels the walls close in on him until his eyes fall on the only person who could possibly understand what the last year of his life has been like. If only his kids could understand why he's so drawn to her. Then I downloaded Quarantine Together by Dara Shaw. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99 at the time. I downloaded it for free. Quarantine Together is a sweet contemporary romance between Lucas and Melody, new adults who meet each other and instantly feel attracted. Melody, who already has a boyfriend, feels more connected to Lucas than ever and denies her feelings for him. He's head over heels for her and can do anything to be with her. The instant attraction jumps through the hoops of friendship, sex, and being enemies. Will they find love for each other when forced to quarantine together for 14 days during a pandemic when they barely want to speak to one another? Then I downloaded A Man Once Called Rumpelstiltskin, a fairy tale retelling by C.T. Worth. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I personally downloaded it for free at the time. In a bid for vengeance, Thomas Schmidt abandoned the dream of a peaceful existence and assumed a double life. By day, he was the respected and trusted royal bookkeeper. In his free time, he was the infamous bandit Rumpelstiltskin. But one more heist and his revenge on the king responsible for murdering his family would be complete. Everything was going according to plan and he had it all under control. That is until he met Greta Fisher. Greta longed for adventure, but being the daughter of a poor miller, she assumed her dreams were out of reach. After escaping a terrifying encounter with a dangerous criminal, her silence is purchased with a gold coin and she decided adventure is overrated. Unfortunately for her greedy father discovers her treasure, he jumps to the obvious conclusion. His daughter can spin gold. Greta Students finds herself locked up in a cell full of straw and Thomas is honor bound to rescue a stranger from a situation he helped create. Both must risk their safety to deceive the king, but little do they know they are both risking their hearts. Then I downloaded Haunted and Wicked, a paranormal reverse harem by Liz Gavin. New Orleans is famous for awesome jazz, fun Mardi Gras, and haunted mansions. Few people know the city's best kept secret, Club Desire, a place for the rich and powerful role to play their kinkiest fantasies. What club goers don't know is that it is haunted. Marcel Revolt, bound to the house for over a century, has learned some naughty tricks. He doesn't shy away from using on unsuspected visitors, but when the club member senses his presence and interacts with him, things get hot. Clara Harvick's mega movie star indulges her darkest fantasies with the help of an expert master. As an empath, she bonds with Marcel like no other club member 
has done before. Their attraction is immediate, undeniable, yet it is doomed from the beginning. There is no future for Marcel and Clara, even if they are soulmates. Or is there? I'm sorry for the really crappy lighting. It just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Yours for Christmas, an accidental pregnancy romance by Lillian Monroe. The Christmas ball at Farcliff Castle is meant for proper royals, not for families who are hanging on to their titles by a thread. Families whose daughters need to marry well, else they'll lose their standing in society. Families like mine. You know who else shouldn't be here? The Duke of Blythe, brooding mysterious with a gaze that makes my whole body ignite. When the Duke steals me away from the ball, he shows me what it means to be a woman. Makes me think that my future could involve something more than a loveless marriage to an old, well-titled man. Treats my body with reverence and shows me exactly what I've been missing in my prim and proper life. When the Duke has secrets he's not ready to share, my time is running out. And that's before I find out I'm pregnant. Now I need to decide, do I pursue a life with a reclusive duke or turn my back on love to make sure my baby has a stable future? Then I downloaded Back to You, A Sweet Friends to Lovers Military Romance by Jess Mastrakos. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. This is available off Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99 at the time. I downloaded it for free. United States Marine Spencer Hawkins doesn't do relationships. Not even with his best friend, Ellie Burton, the girl who has always been there for him, even in his darkest hour. But now that high school is over and he's in the military, he's starting to look at life and his best friend a whole new way. Ellie wants a stable life with a white picket fence. She definitely doesn't want to get involved with Spencer, who has no interest in settling down. But how long is she supposed to ignore the way he looks in that uniform or the way he's starting to look at her? As Spencer starts his journey as a new Marine, Ellie doesn't hesitate to support his dream, even if she's struggling to find her own. But after one kiss changes their relationship forever, can they go back to just being friends? Then I downloaded Santa Baby, I'm on a bad boy for Christmas by Justine Elvira. This is still currently free to download. Morgan is having a miserable week. She broke up with her boyfriend, can't afford to go home to spend the holidays with her family and has to work every day leading up to Christmas. Enter mall Santa. When Morgan is forced to tell Santa what she wants for Christmas, she doesn't hold back. She wants a bad boy for Christmas. He must have chiseled arms, smoldering eyes, and panty melting smile. Will Santa send Morgan her perfect bad boy? Then I downloaded Captain of My Heart by Danielle Harmon. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99 at the time I downloaded it for free. Handsome Wiley Irish privateer Captain Brendan J. Maverick is running from a painful past and fighting for a new nation's future. When he arrives in the colonial town of Newburyport, Massachusetts with plans for shipwright Ephraim Ashton to build his magnificent new schrooner. Brendan's daring sea battles against his majesty's fleet have made him a legend in his adopted country. But one look at the dashing stranger and Ashton's daughter, Mira, starts making plans on her own. Rash, hot-tempered, and born at sea with a raging gale, Mira Ashton is more than most men can manage. Disguising herself as a crew member and sneaking aboard Brendan's newly built Kestrel, she becomes the Shrooner's finest gunner and the captain's most outrageous distraction. As desire ignites between them, Mira finds herself competing against Kestrel for Brendan's love. But when tragedy strikes, Mira must join forces with her mighty rival in a daring adventure that turns the tide of battle and brings glorious victory to the colonists, the captain, and the lady who has captured his heart. The next three books were amazing, wonderful Christmas gifts for my lovely friend Aspasia over at Asparagus's Reading, who I'm going to be linking down below. So thank you so much, Aspasia, for sending me all three of these books. You did not have to. You're so sweet. This one is called One Week Till Christmas, The Perfect Holiday Romance. This is available to purchase for $1.99. Isabel Bennett is waiting for the number 11 bus when a man quite literally falls into her lap. Snow is falling, Christmas lights are twinkling, and a gorgeous man with brown, dark hair has just slipped on ice and it was pressed against Isabel. Isabel knows she's not imagining the chemistry between them, but when his ride arrives and embarrassed, he beats a hasty retreat, murmuring apologies, and Isabel realizes only too late that she didn't manage to catch his name. But when she runs into him again the next morning, she decides it's fate. It's a second chance for Isabel and Tom, but there's only one week until she leaves London for good. Seven days of enjoying the all the festive delights the city has to offer, ice skating at Somerset House, mulled wine on the south bank christmas shopping at liberty 
There's magic in the air and mistletoe in the trees, but what will happen when the week is over? Aspatia also bought me Love in the Wild, which is a Tarzan retelling by Emma Castle. Um, this is available to purchase for $3.99. Eden Matthews stumbles upon the discovery of a lifetime while photographing wildlife deep in the heart of Africa. A gorgeous god of a man living in the wilds of the African jungle among a family of gorillas. When he saves her life, she's compelled to uncover the man's tragic past and the fate which led him to grow up in the wild. But Eden soon learns that she can take the man from the wild, but she can't take the wild out of the man. When her savage savior soon shows her just what he wants of her, her sensual surrender, she finds she can't resist teaching him how to love in the wild. And the last book that Aspasia bought me is Her Sweet Alpha by Thayer King. This is available to purchase for $2.99. Alpha werewolf Dade Stone is closing in on his 30th birthday. He's in dire need of his true mate. And then he finds her, only she's human. Dade has never been with a human. He's too big and too scary. His animal side wants to claim his mate now, but he knows she needs time to adjust to the idea of becoming his mate. Hallie Fieldling is working as a waitress when a sh large stranger claims she's his mate and that she's going to marry him and give birth to his pups. Pups, he actually said pups. <laughs> she's sure there's some mistake, she's human. And with yellow eyes and sharp teeth, he's clearly clearly not. If only he weren't so sexy. Then I downloaded Away From You, a sweet second chance military romance by Jess Mastrokos. Again, I'm butchering this name. I'm so sorry. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. I downloaded it for free at the time. Lance Corporal Matthew Mills returned home from his first deployment with more than just a bullet wound. While he knew that injury would heal, he feared the invisible ones never could. He couldn't trust his own mind anymore and the only way to keep Olivia safe was to push her away, maybe for good. Olivia wanted nothing more than to stand by her husband while he battled PTSD. If he needed time and space, that's what she'd give him. But how long was too long? Just when she was about to lose hope, fate and a few meddling friends stepped in. A week in the woods of Big Bear Lake promises relaxation, fun with friends, and adventure. Without the pressures of the outside world, Olivia hopes she can convince him that their love is worth fighting for. As much as it scares him, Matt can't help but want to let her. Then I downloaded The Alien King's Baby, a sci-fi alien romance by Shay Malloy. This is still currently free to download. A receptionist at a straw supply company, Megan Landy, is content with her ordinary life. Sure, she still has some resentment towards her awful ex, but that's normal. What's not normal is the sudden appearance of the skilled alien warrior, Mikal Ashrisi. Even worse is his arrogant demand she stay on his planet long enough to give birth to his child. The petite human female isn't Mikal's ideal choice as a mother to his offspring, but he no longer has a choice in the matter. Feisty and stubborn beyond reason, she's not like any of the women on his planet. Her presence in his life should be temporary, but as time passes, he becomes uncertain if he should ever let her go. Then I downloaded Ascension Saga 1 by Grace Goodwin. This is still available to download for free. Leoron of Valyria returns home from the Hive Wars determined to protect the capital city, the last bastion of a vanished queen's reign from civil war. Loyal to the bone, Leo answers the call from Primal Null and vows to protect at any cost three unknown females arriving from Earth. But the simple soldier is unprepared for the shock of desire that brings him to his knees the first sight of Trinity Jones. Nothing makes sense as Leo fights friend and foe alike and discovers the woman stealing his heart has the destiny beyond anything he could have imagined. Next, I downloaded Bond, Stargazer Alien, Mail Order Brides, number one by Tasha Black. This is still available to download for free. Posey Quinn has always believed that there was more to the world than what she can see. So when she arrives in Stargazer with her head full of conspiracies and high-end hairspray, she isn't entirely surprised to learn that instead of donating the eggs for tuition money, she's been asked to make an alien fall in love with her and become an ambassador for humankind. What she doesn't expect is how irresistible Bond is and how hard it will be not to lose her own heart to the man who plays her body like a violin. Bond learned about human culture from the collection of 1980s movies his planet received in an interstellar time capsule. Now he is on Earth to fill one human female with as much pleasure as she can bear, a mission he's finding very agreeable. But he's not just here to fall in love. Tasked with using his powers of human seduction to glean what he can about Earth and its inhabitants, Bond knows that if the planet's resources are worthy and its residents aren't, his days of pleasing Posey will soon 
be at an end. Then I downloaded Caden, a sci-fi alien romance by Mel Teshko. Sorry for the crying dog. I'm so sorry. Um, this is still available to download for free. The dragons will search the universe for their one true mate. Grace has a special ability. She senses paranormal beings. It's the perfect trait to have as an operative for the paranormal detection agency. A pity her next target, Caden Mares, doesn't just trigger her paranormal senses, he triggers her lust too. Caden has been aware of the elusive Grace for some time now, and he has waited patiently for her. She's a dragon breeder, and once he finally has her, he isn't about to give her up. Not even if it means she goes from hunter to hunted. And lastly, I downloaded Christmas With You, a sweet fake relationship of military romance by Jess Mastrakos. Hopefully I'm not butchering that. Again, downloaded this off of Kindle Unlimited. You can purchase it for $4.99, but I downloaded it for free at the time. Staff Sergeant Charles Cooper is desperate. When he makes up a fake girlfriend to appease his grandmother, he hadn't counted on Grandma Jean flying halfway across the country to meet her at Christmas. With only a few days until the big family dinner, he needs to find a girlfriend fast. Angie Black can think of few people who can get under her skin more than Cooper. Unfortunately, she has to tolerate him since their best friends are married to each other. When Cooper asks her to be his fake girlfriend for a family dinner, Angie agrees only because she could use a fake boyfriend for her own reasons. Their fake relationship seems to solve both their problems. That is until unexpected feelings arise. With his deployment looming, will they figure out if they're meant to be for one another before they find themselves half a world apart? Sorry, I rushed through the last couple. Um, my phone is running out of storage. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. Again, very sorry for the horrible lighting. <laughs> Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.